Thank you. Thank you. Hi, hi, Brooklyn. Um, I'm Lady Godiva. Um, I'm also Christina Adriana Bejan, the Executive Director of Bucharest Inside the Beltway, DC and Romania's New Culture and Arts Collective. Um, yes, we are two and a half years old now. We've had um, shows at the Capital Fringe Festival, DC Black Theatre Festival, and Center Page to Stage Festival, and the Theatre Lab Program at Source Theatre on 14th Street. We have sold out everything. Wow. Our show, District Land, was bought for development into a TV series, um, and that's been screened, yes, at film festivals across the country. Um, so I want to share tonight two older poems. Um, I was inspired to come here tonight because Lee Da Vinci and I have known each other on the spoken word scene now for two and a half years now, Lee, I think. Um, and so I really wanted to share the stage with him tonight. It was really important to me. Um, so, in 2010, I lived in Vanuatu, which is a country in the South Pacific. Um, I lived on an island called Ifate. And in 2010, that was the 30th year of independence, and everybody was celebrating 30 years of independence from Great Britain and France. Um, Vanuatu is part of Melanesia, um, which is, if you know anything about the Pacific, um, it's, it's a series of island chains, Papua New Guinea, Melanesia, Solomon Islands, and Fiji. Um, and so I met one of the revolutionaries who um, actually facilitated independence in uh, 30 years, so in 1980, and her name is Mildred Sope. And these two poems are about how I met Mildred. Um, it's not how you meet people these days. Um, and hopefully food for thought when it comes to revolution, freedom, and um, just a better way of life in this world. Okay. Beyond language. Escorted to an island that requires an invitation. Another world just on the other side of a resort. So secret that those in the know know it's there. Those who don't know live in ignorant bliss. An island that transcends language because her language itself is secret. There I met the poetess. A distinguished old lady welcomed me into her home. We sat on her veranda and she giggled when I told her of my admiration. A voice of the revolution, she couldn't have been more humble. Why had I been so nervous? But a secret island is not only giggling grandmothers or revolutionary writers, but also a world unseen to so many. A tremendous honor had been bestowed on me. And with that came a fear that arose only after I ate durian fruit with her niece that afternoon. When the Europeans arrived in the tropical Amazon, their method of writing was soon observed by tribal chiefs to be a tool of power. So those illiterate pretended to be literate. A new form of subordination began. The secret island, these powerful people dominate society already and now completely unintentionally Thanks to literature and art, I have been welcomed into a home forbidden to their countrymen. Yeah. So this next piece is how I was summoned to meet Mildred Sope on the island of Afate in 2010. A little food for thought about how we communicate now. Maybe a little bit of food for thought for the younger generation. On Ifate, while doing yoga on our lagoon side patio, I noticed a canoe in the water, holding four men who watched me through binoculars. I waved, and that moment my cell phone rang, and the first lady invited me to her island. Thank you, Washington.